Dan. Dan here and welcome back to another video where today we're back inside Minecraft and we are currently standing in the lobby for possibly the most exciting looking custom map I have ever seen. And it is called Terra Swoop 4. So it sounds like we might even become our very own superhero today, but it's made by the almighty Nox crew. They are very, very, very talented map builders and this looks insane. There's custom textures. Look at this. This computer actually works. How? How? It's it's magic. It, it's just magic. Click me to test the music. Yes. Yeah, so this map actually has like a full custom soundtrack and everything. So click to enter the map. Look at that. That's amazing. And that sounds like a helicopter. That definitely sounds like a helicopter. Are we in one right now? What's in here, huh? What's in here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We bought no food with us or we, we ate it on the way. I, I did enjoy those sandwiches. And um, what we got up here? Oh, the cockpit. Um, There's no controls. What am I what am I supposed to do with no controls, huh? But I think we need to head out this way, down this fancy looking ladder. Let's be very safe about it. And over to the GDL building. How do I get down from here? Should I just jump? Huh? Ow, that hurt a little bit, but we're gonna go over to the GDL building. Looks very, very nice indeed. I can spot some villagers over there. Can you see them? Can you see them? You can see a bald head right there. We've got some guy's got hair over there. So he's been he's been using that hair serum to good use. But here we are, the GDL. Let's walk inside and see what oh, happens. Welcome, welcome. Oh. We were expecting you almost half an hour ago. Speak. But being a tad late is far better than being melted to death and never showing up. Am I right? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, we were already <laughs> running late, so you should probably head upstairs to begin Alan's briefing on the mission. Good luck. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Can you stop? <laughs> are they gone? Stop! What are you doing? Are we finished? Stop, you're freaking me out. <sighs> you're really freaking me out. <laughs> so anyway, guys, welcome to the map. This is insane. There's there's speech. There's Look at these models. I mean, you can't really see. Is there someone down there? I thought that, that, that was a person. It, it's a plant plot. <laughs> I'm too overexcited and again, sorry about the sun. It's it's actually out today. But anyway, look, there's pens on the desk. Hello again. Don't don't talk to me though, please. Um we need to go upstairs and see Alan because apparently we are late. Are you Alan? Alan! Hey, Alan! Good work, what are they saying? Oh, look! Look! Hello! Why are you all staring at me like that? Stand in a cubicle. I look up. Bam. Security camera. What I'm going. I'm out. You guys are weird. <laughs> right, so I think we need to head upstairs to find Alan and get to our mission. Just look how nice these maps look. Oh, they look so good. They look really good. Right, press to start the presentation. Press this to play the video from Alan. Okay, let's press this. Here we go. Ugh. 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 There we go. Nice. The following is a GDL certified presentation, recorded and made for strict use of the GeoDescent Lab grounds only. This is insane. <clears throat> right. Let's see. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome. <clears throat> Come on, Alan. Welcome Pull yourself to together. GeoDescent Labs, where digging into the past is of the past, because we're digging into the future. Instead of the past. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. My name is Alan Columbus, and I'm the one in charge of running the operations here. So, please <laughs> do take a seat, as the following presentation will outline your mission in adequate detail. Yes. Right. Approximately 30 years ago, we sent a bore drill with a two-man crew to create a tunnel to the center of the Earth. Nice. Once, once that drill reached the core, we lost all communication with the crew. And, oh. um, well, Whoops. The, 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 the crew themselves. <laughs> so, the project was completely shut down due to the unforeseen casualties. I mean, wow. I, I say unforeseen, but, you know, the nature of the... <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not really <clears throat> now, looking too great, is it? Fast forward to about a year ago, we discovered a new type of rock deep down in the earth named noxesium that when cooked at a temperature of 3,456 degrees, along with a cow's udder, apple cider vinegar, a few gummy bears, dried washing up liquid, and a spleen of a... You, you, you know what? In brief, it allowed us to create a new alloy that we managed to translate into a fully-fledged metallic wingsuit named the Thermal Flight Armor Whoa, 1541. I want that! This suit is made to withstand the highest heats known to man, and so Not we bad. believe... The center of the earth. 
This is where you come in. You have been hired for a mission to fly down to the center of the Earth, wearing the thermal flight armor 1541, to rescue the long-lost Bordrill. Providing that it's intact, you should be able to use the power in your suits to power it up and drive it all the way back. It okay. would also be nice to recover the bodies of the crew we lost and um, um, bring them back for their families. Okay, let's talk about how you're going to do it. Let's. The bore drill gradually made its way to the Earth's core through three separate tunnels in a zigzag formation. You will glide using your suits all the way down to the center of the Earth through these tunnels. Okay. At the end of tunnel one and two, there is a base camp that you can use to rest up at. However, beyond tunnel three... Well, it's all on you at that point. <laughs> they have no Listen, idea. I don't know what you're going to find down there, but I'm sure you all agreed upon the possible dangers when you signed up for this job. Did, did, I, right. did I sign up? As soon as this brief is did finished, I... you'll head out the door behind you and follow the route down to the armory where you will equip your brand spanking new Thermal Flight Armor 1541s. Yeah. And then progress to the drop zone. The drop zone. Um, S S Sasha... Oh, no. Is it is it possible to get this recording to um, <clears throat> self destruct no. after it's finished? No. Y you know, like the um, Mission Impossible film. No, don't do it. No. Good. What do you mean no? Oh my goodness! Please don't. Okay. Okay. Ne never mind. Are you done, Marty? <clears throat> Are you done, Are you uh. Alan? Al Alan. K kaboom! <laughs> kaboom! <laughs> Alan, <coughs> you're killing me, Alan. Can we go now? I don't really want to speak to Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, did you see that? <laughs> this is so polished and amazing. Alan, what a legend. He's already my favorite character. So basically, we need to journey to the center of the earth using these brand new amazing thermal suits, which is, whoa. Look at all them people. I think these are all the people that helped to make the map. That's that's a lot of people. Anyway, we are getting a little bit distracted. We need to go ahead and find where on earth we're going to. Yeah, look, the Hall of Engineers. Insane. Right, I'm excited to get my suit. Hello? Am I supposed to be here? Hello? Oh, kind of wishing I it's studied only, some other science you now. You guys are so weird. You guys are really weird, really weird. Right, so we need to go to the armory, so... What? How... How awesome is this? It's like properly smooth as well, listen. Yes. <laughs> this is blowing my mind, this is so good. Um, we need to go and grab our suits now, I think. Where are our suits? Hello, could anyone around here help me, please? Oh! Oh! Nice! I only needed one, but... I guess eight are fine. That's not too bad. Is that a shark? Is... Is that a shark? There's a shark in the floor! Could anyone help me? I don't really know what I'm doing here. Do I just grab one of these and go? Hello? Do any of you speak English? Hello? Hello! He's busy. He's busy. Right, um, let's go and see. Let's pick a color. Let's go for light blue. Do we just run in? Yes! Swing boot up sequence oh! That's what I'm talking about. Please stand by. Go ahead. What's it? Is it scanning me? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> this is incredible! Thermal resistance gel application complete. This is crazy. This is so awesome. Welcome to the TFA one five four one. Thank you. I am Ellie, and I will accompany you on your journey to the center of the Earth. Fantastic. For your safety, do not attempt to land the suit until I have deployed the landing gear. Okay. Do not drive the TFA one five four one into water, hot liquids, or magma. Okay, that that Enjoy that's fair. <laughs> okay, where do we go now? Um. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not gonna lie. That was all pretty crazy. Did I did I really sign up for this? I don't really remember signing up for this, but I do have a pretty awesome super suit. I do feel like I'm a superhero right now, especially in this really high tech lab. So, where do I go? I think through here. I don't think this was open before. See you later. Work hard, okay? Work hard. Right. We have 
to walk through here past the amazing plant pots. Hello, sir. The big Dr. How are you? Barney and Dr. Minowski mystery is finally going to be solved. I can't yep. wait. I'm getting out of here. You're too weird. Everyone is so strange who works here. But we're going to the drop zone and hopefully jump again mid-air to activate your wings. Oh, yes. It's kind of based on Elytra, isn't it? I'm not very good at using Elytra, so hopefully we can complete this mission. The Terra Swoop Force has arrived. Yes! Descent sequence will initiate upon activation of the hatch door controls. Awesome. Okay, so anyone going to help me? No, no, I didn't think so. Uh, what does this say? Oh, it's the, the, the recipe he was talking about. That's awesome. Who stole the markers? <laughs> Look at this. It's like a little sponge as well. Oh, Sasha. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm going. I am in the wrong place. That's the water cooler. I need to get to the, the, the loading station, which is here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Right, this says, push to start descent. Only drop once. Floor hatch is fully opened. Uh, and that says exactly the same thing. But just... Just look at all the details that are in this. Are you ready to fly, guys? I'm ready. Boom. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? Never push. Oh, no. Never push the red button. I forgot. Okay. Okay. This is epic. This is insane. Oh, no. Do I have to jump? What's going on? What's going on? Music. Okay, right. Should, should we just jump? Should we just go for it? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yes. Oh my word. Look at this. This is amazing. So is this the first tunnel that that big machine made? Oh, geez. We need to not die. We need to not die. We need to not die. No. Ow. <laughs> I smacked my face. This is not a good start. Help. 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 I exploded. Dan TDM destroyed a $10,000 wingsuit. Whoops. Okay, we're good. We're back. We're back. Okay, let's let's try this a little bit better this time. Okay, we're good. Let's just make sure we use the Elytra properly. Um, <laughs> so we need to make it through these tunnels without dying, without clipping anything. And I think this is going to be quite challenging. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Right, this guy in here. Ow! No, I swear my face. No! No! Dan TDM landed on the ground like a splat of strawberry jam. Yes, I did. I failed quite badly. Yes, I made it past it. Oh my goodness, there's, there's mining stuff. I wasn't expecting this. No! Ah, come on! Come on! <laughs> this is crazy. It's like, it's kind of like, it reminds me of kind of Temple Run. I think it's that kind of style. So you have to make it through all the tunnels to get to the center of the earth. But you have to avoid all this stuff and not to blow up the $10,000 wingsuit, which is which is kind of tricky to be fair, especially when you don't have great Elytra skills. We can make it under. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I vanished into thin air with an explosion. Let's try and go over the top of it. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. We made it. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it moves so quickly. Oh, man, I think they said there were three tunnels in total, so we need to get through this one, then we get to the safe point, then you get through the second one, get to the safe point, and then the third one is the journey to the center of the earth, which I'm a little bit worried about, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm taking it a little bit slower this time. I did hit my head, but it was a good thing, because it slowed me down. No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, no! <laughs> this is better, this is better, watch out for the lamps. We're doing well, we're doing well, we're we making it. There's mushrooms. Okay, what do I do with the mushrooms? Oh, geez. No, I'm going through the worst possible route. Or are we? We're making it past all the mushrooms. Don't fly through that. Oh, no. Where am I going? Oh, I'm doing well. This is really long, though. If I die, please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Yes. 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 What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I made it. I made it. I made it to base camp alpha. I thought I was going to get to the end and explode. Oh, that was... That was terrifying. It was so cool though. Right, we made it through the first tunnel, but where do I have to go now? I need to make it to... Right, this is the landing pad which I was supposed to land on, but I didn't. So, this way, I'm guessing. Let's see what everyone has to say, if anyone. Right, press to cycle the airlock. We'll teleport all players towards you. We're playing by ourselves. Stand by for a rendezvous at Alpha Base. For the oxygen renewal chamber to cycle. Nice. Are we... Are we oh! Oh, this is so high-tech. 
I'm definitely a superhero right now. This is amazing. This is <laughs> this is just amazing. Tunnel to hatch release. Drop when ready. Okay. Oh, so we literally just go from here through the tunnel. I think we did pretty well in that first tunnel, getting past that crane bit, and then... Oh, geez. Here we go. So we need to drop through here. Is this, is this right? Anyone here to confirm? No. Okay, we're just going to go this alone. I think we need to drop from here. We ready for the second tunnel? Let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Yes. Oh, man. Look at all the detail in this. It's a shame that we... Ow. <laughs> it's a shame that we go through it so quickly because it's just such an amazing build. I'm going to blow up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's such an amazing build. It's a shame we have to fly through it so fast. Oh. Oh, this is getting thin. Oh! Smack straight in the face. That's not healthy for anyone. Can we make it, though? I don't think we're going fast enough. Our legs are wiggling. We're trying our best. We might have to pick up some speed here. No, no, no. Pick up some speed. Pick up some speed. There we go. We made it. Okay. As long as we don't have to go higher, we're all good. There's massive seagulls. Why are the seagulls so big? Oh, no. How do we get up there? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Under the mushroom. Through here. Don't hit anything. Through some other stuff. I think we're in like a snowy kind of underground bone. More mushrooms. We're good. This is the only the second tunnel. Oh, yes. Crazy amounts of icicles as well. We do not want to hit those. Oh, it's really thin down here. No, where am I going? Where am I going? Don't touch the bottom. We need to pick up some speed. Come on. Come on. Do it for us. Do it for us. Is that a frog? Is that a giant frog? It is. He's fishing as well. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> no. No. I was so far. I think that's a mutant frog in the other side as well. Where on earth are we flying through? The center of the earth has giant frogs and birds and stuff. Who'd have thought it, huh? A dinosaur. How did I not see that before? We're in like a prehistoric era. This is where the dinosaurs went. Oh, geez. No, I'm going to be going up. I'm going to be going up. Oh, that was close. The dinosaurs are in the center of the earth. We're learning so much about the world today. Okay, I haven't got much speed here, so I'm going to be in big trouble. Where do I go? No! Blame lag. Always blame lag. We made it. Look, there's a giant mutant frog. Oh my goodness, that was scary. What is that? Is that a troll? <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Please, please. No, it was right there. <laughs> the base was right there. <laughs> Oh, man, that was a troll and two giant mutant frogs. One was fishing, but one looked a little bit more aggressive. Come on, I've got to make it just that little bit further. I just ran out of steam on the Elytra. Yes, this is better. This is better. Get past the troll. There we go. And we're straight in there. Yes. <laughs> Made it to beta. Yes. Right, so that means that we now have our next trip is going to be to the center of the earth. And I think we're supposed to hit those slime balls. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. Let's press this button. And then everyone will rendezvous. It's, it's just me, though. And the oxygen stuff will happen. And let's do this. Oh, my goodness. That was so cool. There's so many different routes to go as well. There's loads of different stuff to kind of discover. So when you guys have finished watching this video, definitely try out this map. Tunnel Hatch 3 released. Drop when ready. Let's take a sneak peek of what it looks like because I'm looking forward to it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. Still pretty high tech, but from here, we don't really know what there is because this is the last space. And then we're going straight to the center of the earth. I'm nervous, but excited. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's jump and glide there we go okay what is that is that the drill i think that was the drill wasn't it i have no idea there's so much machinery all over the place i hit my head but i'm good oh ah! no i'm not good he made horsey noises with coconuts i'm gonna try and do it in first person and see what happens because i don't know whether this is gonna be easier to kind of slot through the tiny gaps that we need and it does still look really really cool there we go that's better yeah this is actually quite oh, okay what is going on here are there aliens in the center of the earth? Oh my goodness, this is, this is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. We made it though. We made it. No. Get through the gap. Come on, we can do this. The nether is in the middle as well. That's fine. I probably would guess that. I think we could. I think we could. We need a little bit more speed though. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, I could have got over that rim and just oh, gone for it. There's ghasts in the center of the earth. I am not 
surprised. <laughs> this is a little bit easier though, so I'm just gonna stay in this mode for a little bit and I might switch later on if I'm having some more troubles. Oh, there's just like random blocks splayed everywhere. It's crazy. I don't know how I made it through this bit, but I did. I did. I did all right. I'm gonna try and stay high. No, nope, that's a bad idea. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna be able to pick up speeds? I might be able to. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No. Oh. Instead of basilisk in the eye. Never do that. Never do that. I'm going left to see if there's anything more interesting. I think it might be the same. Oh, maybe not. It's a little bit more difficult. Come on, we can get some speed up here. Come on. Ah, my Elytra skills are improving though. And apparently I can't find where I parked my car. <laughs> okay, I'm trying this green bit with this new view. I don't know if I can be able to do it, but we need to stay kind of high because... Uh, you can't make it above the obsidian if you don't. Oh, jeez, are we going to be able to make it if we do this? Swoop, swoop, swoop. No! <laughs> That's exactly the perfect description of what happened. Oh, 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 I made it. That was so close. Right, we need to go through this bit. Don't hit, don't hit. Oh, jeez, I am losing air really, really quickly. Oh, man, come on. Come on, over this bit. No, I've fallen at the same bit. It's so hard. I did a Buzz Lightyear. Okay, I found a good route through the green bit. I just need to keep this speed up to be able to not hit anything through the nether. Oh my goodness. Do I need to go down here? I have no idea. Please, please, let me survive. <laughs> I can't quite see what was through there. It looks like there's maybe like a stronghold through there. So this one is going to be a long, long course. So I definitely know that I need to go like up to the top right of where the green thing is and then carry on from there. Watch this. This is my plan. So you go like this way and then, oh, it's so much harder to see in this view. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, here we go. How do we get through here? Whoa, okay. There's tiny, tiny holes for this one. No. No, need another death. Why not? Yeah, I've died about a million times. I think through there, just this little bit here, there's the slime that we needed to hit. I'm getting better at this. Stop it, son. You're distracting me. Back into the nether. I've just realized that bit is a nether portal, which is insane. It's so cool. No. <laughs> That's the only repeat death message that I've seen, by the way. There are so many different ones. This is so difficult, this last one. But I wonder what's going to happen when we get actually get to the center of the earth. Are those people going to be alive? Are they going to be dead? Are we going to get to drive the giant drill? I, I really hope so. That'll be amazing. But this, I think, is going to be really, really long. <laughs> so bear with me. Come on. Glide through here. Glide through here. Okay, this is a good run. Look how high up we are. I should have done this in first person. No. Ah! <laughs> I definitely need to go first person because I can't see where I'm going to hit. So let's hit up first person mode and try this. I look amazing in this suit. Nice. Guys, I'm on fire, but I made it. I made it. Please don't let this ruin it. Please. No. Why did I have to go on fire? Why? I haven't been able to get past this tiny little section yet. And I've been playing this for a long, long time time. I think I've got a perfect route. I'll show you the route I'm taking right now. So I go around here, past this little block underneath, and then this green route, I kind of stay flat for a little bit. And then I go under this bit and under this bit. And then you head for this kind of puff of cobwebs around the left, around the right. And then this is where it gets tricky. You need to kind of go up here. Or this is the route I'm trying at the moment. And then not get set on fire. Go up. Yes. Okay. This is better. No. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Okay, we need to go down and then try and get back up. Okay, this is better. This is better. I've slowed down a little bit, which is kind of good. No! No, do I have to go left? Or do I have to go through the middle? I'm so confused now. I'm pretty sure it's got to be through here. Yes! We did it! We did it! Okay, right into here. You have to go through the skull? <laughs> oh, man, that was tiny. You have to go through this bit, then through there. And you know what? Seeing a skull doesn't really fill me with too much good feelings. But I think I can get to that bit pretty much every time now. As I as I explode into nothing. Ha! <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Right, guys, I'm gonna go left after this bit. If I can even make it. Can I make it still? Can I make it still? Okay, I'm a little bit through. Come on, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. I wanna go left and see what happens. Is there anywhere? Is there anywhere you can go? We can go left. Okay, you can go left. So I'm going to try that because it might be a little bit easier. So let's see. There's so many different ways to go. That, um, oh, jeez. Come on. Here we go. Let's go left. Let's go left. Let's see what happens. 
You can go around it. Okay. That might actually be easier. Now that I know we can go around it instead of going through, it might be easier. I, I say might because I'm still, I'm failing so many times. Even though I know the route. See, look. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Huh? I ate too many Krabby Patties and I'm... I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Get in the skull. Get in the skull. Yes, I did it. Okay, where do we have to go now? Please don't run out of... Please don't run out. Please don't run out. Okay, I think I'm here. This is the center of the earth, right? Is this where we're supposed to be? Oh my goodness. Please don't mess up now. Please don't mess up now. No, no, I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna mess up. No! This is so long. This is so long. <laughs> okay, I managed to get back here. I think I need more air, but it's so hard if you start losing air with an Elytra to um, be able to pick it back up again. But I think we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Come on, please. Please, where is the base? Where is the base? Please say the base is near here. No, I'm dropping down, I'm dropping down. Landing gate deployed, what? Did I make it? Did I make it? Where am I supposed to go now? Guys, I made it, we're here. We're here, I think we need to go through this bit. I'm not too sure. Okay, the landing gear was deployed so we can, oh wait, core drill sense nearby. Okay, so what do I do? Do I jump down here? Please don't kill me if I go down here. Let's see what happens. Okay, where are we? Oh, this is spooky. The music is still, it's still sounding pretty incredible. Oh. Your suit is nearing the maximum temperature it can withstand. Okay. Please proceed with caution. Okay. So, our suit, even though it can withstand like three and a half thousand degrees, we're still in very dangerous territory, even though there's ice everywhere. I'm not sure what to do, but we need to keep going forward. Is this another bit as well? Oh my goodness, right, let's try and glide down here. And... Oh! You see a lag then? That's not fair! What am I supposed- I'm, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Okay, so it looks like we're not doing the Elytra flying anymore. Oh! Oh, it's here! Can I can I stop being on fire, please? I know this suit can withstand hot temperatures, but we don't really need to see that anymore, do we? Come on. Stop. Stop. There we go. Nice. Okay. We've made it to the drill. Now, let's see if anyone is inside. Um, let's jump. And head- Oh. Oh. Oh, what's going on? The door's opening. A little bit. Is anyone here? Hello? I'm looking for two. Oh, jeez. No, no, this is bad. Oh. I thought I was stuck for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna shower. Get a shower. They think I stink. No, I don't stink. Look. What's going on? Oh, my goodness. Is everything okay? I, I promise you I don't stink. Please stop. Please stop this. Stop spraying stuff in my face. Oh no, the lights are flickering. Mom, where are you? I need you. Hello? Can anyone help me? Uh, there's a name tag. There's, I was gonna say paper, but I'm not sure if that's paper or, oh my. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. It, it can't be. Are you real? believe my eyes. He's talking, look! I've waited so long for this. So long. I have yearned for this moment and it has finally come. I, I don't know what to say. Say, say thanks. <laughs> oh, he cried! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be surprised. I'm still alive after all this time. <laughs> Who ate the book? I don't even know how long it's been since Dr. Minowski left my side. Well, uh, after we ran out of actual food, we had to train our stomachs to survive off the drill itself. <laughs> the what? Which didn't taste so bad. After a while, that is. <laughs> oh, don't cough on me. You know, I always thought the guy was a little bit fishy, but really, I thank the heavens that Minowski brought his 5,000-page annotated hardback of Dr. Wolf's motivational philosophies. Did he eat him and then eat the book? A refreshing taste to the diet every so often. You're crazy! <sighs> Minowski. Poor, poor Minowski. Where did you go, Minowski? Oh. oh, I just noticed. Those, those suits. They, they were working on prototypes for those suits for years. But these, 
these look completely different. Yeah. They're... Really modernized. They're not bad. I must have been down here for too long. Do you really need wow. to keep talking, though? When I was still surfaced, the wings were only a dream. I had no idea they'd be able to make them a reality. Would you... Would you mind if I had a look? Just, oh, no. Just, you know, try it on. No! <laughs> you know, for... For Minowski's sake. No, you... <laughs> Did you eat? Oh, oh my goodness, what? He's crying. Look how amazing that is. Walk up to Dr. Barney and press. Why would I give him the suit? I've just spent so long mastering it and I've got to give it to him. D let's take a time out. That was amazing, by the way. The way they made the whole. I just. What? It's crazy. It's crazy. And this guy is obviously crazy too. So he ate books. And I'm questioning whether he ate this guy as well. This place is pretty cool, though. Look at this. Oh, man. This is insane, right? We need to give him the suit, otherwise we can't get home, I guess. Right, let's see what happens. This, this Looking good. Great. So perfect. Such mastercraft. <laughs> oh, it feels so comfortable. <laughs> if only Minowski was here to see it. He's dead. Don't worry, Minowski. I will avenge you. You see, that core stared at us all day. Every day. Slowly reaching into our souls and crippling us. Then, Whoa. after a while, we began to notice. They came to the core one by one. They started off just taking small pieces of it, like crumbs. <laughs> then they came with their massive platters and began carving juicy ten-out slices of it. Mm. Uh, uh, so before it could get any worse, we built a cannon into the side of the drill. A cannon to fight off those darn evil tunnel pirates before they could eat up all the core. It's not theirs, it's mine. Uh, mine and Minowski's, of, of course. Right, this is it. We will not witness our mother of crops being robbed ever again, because this time, this time, I'm going in. Minowski, this is for you. Curses to the tunnel pirates. I will stop them once and for all. With this brand new suit, nothing will be able to stop me. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> it's a He's blessing. taking our suit. He's going to fire himself into the thing. It's everything I've lived for. <sighs> this is going to be crazy, but I've kind of hilarious. Here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> oh wait, wait, I'm stuck. External temperature rising at abnormal rate. What? What's going on? So people were stealing the core and he thought the core was his. So he's gone crazy. Oh jeez, no. This is this is not good. This is not good. Why did I give him the suit? Oh, oh geez. I am so in trouble. I am so in trouble. Can I fire myself out the cannon now, please? What am I? I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. All because of that stupid crazy man. Oh. 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 What do I do? What do I do? There's nowhere to go. There's literally nowhere to go, and I have no suit. Look, I'm naked. Well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, jeez. Whoa. What happened? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, Bunny Man, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> he fired himself into the core of the the world. Oh man, what an incredible end to such an amazing map. It's exploding. I can't explain how amazing that is. Even the credits are so good. I, the end of that with the, the whole acting of the guy and stuff, he was crying, he was going crazy, he was moving, he was changing costumes. This is all vanilla Minecraft. All vanilla, no mods, no nothing. Just resource packs and redstone. It was quite hard, 
Not gonna lie, I played this map for about an hour and a half. I'm not sure how long the video will be for you guys, but I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing it because it is phenomenal. And also, you can go and check out the guys that made it in the description below because you can try out this map for yourself. Try out different routes. You can go past the frog if you wish, or you can go past other places. There's so many different ways to go. There's so many, many different things to see as well. And I highly suggest you play this because it's just... It's easily, by a long way, the best Minecraft map I have ever played. It makes me really excited for the future. I know that this probably took a long, long time to make, and all of these people have done a crazy amount of work in this. So, I know it takes a long time, but it makes me excited for what Minecraft can actually bring. That was like a full-on game inside Minecraft. A full-on adventure, you get the feels at the end, the full-on story. It was just phenomenal. So guys, who made this map, well done. That was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna wait this out and see if there's anything new at the end of the credits. See if Barney actually survived or not, but it looks like he's destroyed everything. Good job, Barney. Good job, you punk. What's wrong with you? And there we go. I activated the Kilmatron 46 times. I actually activated it more than that because I actually had to replay the whole map because I broke it. Uh, so it's easily 100 plus. Easily. Oh, there's a trophy room. Guys, there's a trophy room. This is phenomenal. Yes, let's go in the trophy room. Did I get any? I got... I, I got none. No, wait. What? Did, did this work? No. I got none. I got no trophies. That's how good I am at this game. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this out here. Please do go and check out the guys that made this map and the map itself in the description below. It was so crazy to play. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it as much as I did playing it, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me. Then please do consider subscribing and joining Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching. You can check out my Twitter in the description below if you do so wish. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!